You want me to get Sephiroth and Lucas? Yeah. Justin, I'm a, a, if he building. got that, I will start sort of right off. I, I can't lie. Here we go. We got Smash Bros. Just to just make up. Of course, Smash Bros. being the regional threat from Jersey and even in Philly. I mean, we just recently winning Bears the other week. Yes. Over so many of those top players. Wow. And now, I mean, I, I already was on a tear. At the, I think you won two Zenos? I think a Zeno and a Waypoint mm. in, the, in recent weeks. Recently. Which ones? Don't ask me. But very recently, yes, won a waypoint as far as I know. Goes toe to toe with New York's best all the time on the Lucas. So you're going to a Zeno over numbers too, which is crazy. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely not. I mean, this Lucas has got it all and more. This is the best advantage I've seen in a hot minute. But just in JPEG, again, playing one of the characters that these characters have nightmares about. Given that Sephiroth with the huge disjoints, and the one thing that Ness and Lucas don't have an answer for, it's a big sword that they cannot contest. But it's also a very slow sword, so you can shim well. And it is also a very big sword, so you know, Sorry. with a big ass head like that, that just look, good target practice. That looks fast playing. as hell to me. I can't lie, I can't lie, Bestie. I look fast. I'm gonna
to you want uh, <laughs> Smash Bros and Justin JPEG. Yes. Um, I mean, oh, nice. Smash Bros taking the lead. I mean, like you mentioned earlier, right, the one thing that Lucas has in this matchup is how slow Sephiroth is, his free yeah. game is. So being able to get in there and the CQC is going to be in your favor 100% of the time. So whenever you're forced into situations like right now, this is where Sephiroth wants to be. The wing in hand, being able to play at the mid range. The Smash Bros, of course, has a lead, 102% lead, if anything, too. Also, so he has to use that to his advantage. Also, Sephiroth really doesn't have an answer to hard zoning. Like, yes, he's. You know, he's relatively fast, he's a big old sword, but if they just keep throwing, in this case, PK fires, what can you really do if they're at that distance? You're not punishing that. Yeah, that's why we're on Hollow Bastion. We use that platform there to jump around it so you don't have to mess with PK fire. Mm. Well, I like in the stage pick here, but still, Smash Bros. doing a really good job of taking the lead early on and putting on so much pressure that, just like that, the, the down tilt chains forcing you into this position where you can play them in range. You need to get in there and find that damage. If you get in there, Lucas is there. He's got so much more than you already oh, wow. have. You can even imagine him having. Wow. Incredible uh, play by Smash Bros there. Putting Justin in a really uncomfortable position for just a couple of seconds. Justin, although oh. able to come right back and even charge up the up smash enough to punish Smash Bros for playing Lucas. Where are you landing, boy? Not there, Hope. Comes the Nair again, the drag down, looking for a PK freeze here. Like That's you mentioned, trying to play around that PK fire. It gets a little too there. Ooh. Dips and dives and dodges. The PK wow, freeze coming out as lit. well. The PK thunder. Your life. Oh my, he still makes it back here at 138. Sephiroth, in the next hit, we're probably going to do it. Oh, nice. The high oh. Just still hanging on, but the F tilt is going to do it there. And Smash Bros. taking game two. Oh, baby. Oh, is it baby. Oh, baby. Game two. It's game game right now. Okay. Game threes everywhere. You'll love to see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah there a lot, we're seeing a lot of Game 3s here today. Honestly, it's been very exciting. But now... All right, so you're Smash Bros. in this situation, right? You just took Game 2, uh -huh. Nailbiter. What do you strike? We're going to PS2, but what would you ban in this situation? I definitely... I definitely feel like you wanted to stay on some of the smaller things. I feel like, um, given the stage list, we're probably banning something. I mean, we saw where he banned it. Getting rid of the uh, counter uh, today and F or, I mean that's station one. No, I'm saying I'm, not, I'm just saying we're looking at the stage list. I'm just mentioning like yeah. probably like counter city after you don't want those bigger stages to several other run away to you don't yep. want platforms to run away to. But that's why I like PS2 so much for Justin JPEG here, considering the bigger stage to play around and force Smash Bros to run to you and get into your zone. And then those big platforms, you have much more space to play around PK Fire. So your advantage is better and your advantage is better here. I was just thinking, Shadow Flare's not come out like at all in this match yet. I think Justin's one of those Sephiroth that doesn't use it as often as other ones do. I mean, it's also not good in this matchup. Yeah, there, there's yeah. one to be you can said. Because one, you can absorb, absorb the first hit. Yes. Two, even if you don't, you, you can absorb. Get, all you the, can absorb. Yep. Uh, yeah, it, it's a problem. It's a big, big problem it's for free someone like Sephiroth. For Lucas players. Yep. You're absolutely oh, right there. That's about to be so devious work. I saw the lines. He wanted it. Oh, oh. just looking for a crazy reason to find that one just yet. Down tilt and the F tilt still cannot close the stock out. I like the air dodge to with that PK freeze. I want to through the Sephiroth to lose the stock sooner rather than later. It needs to make a play happen right now. Nice. Trying to get that, that push back and, you know, honestly, Justin Stab. finds him in, in the nick of time. But the we fall into the A Thunder, but it's hey, okay. We kind of you know, take a little bit of a trade there. We go back up big, we get back to the stage. But unfortunately, at 140% and at your weight class as Sephiroth, you will be falling victim to things like that up throw much faster than other characters. Mm -hmm. Strongest up throw in the game at that, which is crazy. I don't know why they said Lucas needs it, but you know, it's, he got it, I guess. Because Ness is the strongest back throw, you know, it's just yeah, right. it, it's a simple man. Yeah, you're right. It's just the PK gift. But now, uh, Smash Bros. here, not too much of a substantial of a lead, mm -hmm. but a lead nonetheless is going to be big against a character like Sephiroth, like I mentioned earlier, where the uh, more he's down to the uh, wings going to be coming out earlier. So honestly, if you're able to take the stock as early as you can, you can take advantage of that uh, earlier wing percentage. 2%, though. I mean, Smash Bros. is just doing everything in his power to stay in the lead here. And just doesn't get really anything started. All right, find that stocks. dash tag there on the uh, disengage, though. They just want it. They need it. Let me get fired. You mean seeing it? You, you use off stage as a get off me, uh, get off the stage tool. PK freeze to kind of uh, break up that monotony of staying on a ledge. So now that forces Justin to get back oh. onto that platform. And now Smash Bros is kind of just walking Justin around the stage. You're on the stage. You're off the stage. You're in the air. You're off the air. And finally, does Justin get a chance to breathe and to force Smash Bros off stage this time? He's trying to force the ledge trap situation, but uh, excuse me, Smash Bros very quickly reversing. Oh. oh. 
Oh. Um, the, the, the sad thing is, he probably could have countered that and still died, because, whoops, I just absorb it, perish. Oh, there you go. Or reflect it, even. That's the thing, man. Just the type of pressure that Lucas puts on your shield. Like, again, like Sephiroth owns the mid range of this matchup. The second that Lucas gets in, finds his right. Oh, away. he oh! won. Actually, Until might have done it, like, right there. If, if the that's right spot. Yeah, exactly. Kind of went for on there with that up smash charge up, and it allows Smash Bros to not get hit by it once. Like, no, first of all, again. And second of all, to having a reaction time to actually flow out of it. So. Not sure what the response there makes this a lot more difficult for uh -oh. Justin than it has to be, but I mean, with this percentage uh, build up right now, it can work out if we. Oh, never mind. We'll we'll try it the head. Why not? Oh, oh, we made it back. We're good. I'm surprised you didn't just down smash. That was the freest one of your life. That Wing move is huge. Yes, yeah, Justin trying to utilize his wing as long as he can. Trying to take the stock off side. Literally, he took the stock yesterday. If he wants to utilize his wing to the maximum potential. At 116, though, uh, Smasher is doing everything his power. I get to hang on here. Trying to, if anything, take his lead and absolutely run with it. Here comes the Zare. Gonna catch this jump back there with the PK fire. Again, like you mentioned earlier, has no real way of dealing with this PK fire. Yeah. Because by the time, like, by the time the bolt of fire goes away, he's actionable again, and you're all the way over here. Uh oh. This is a really bad spot for us. Uh, Justin, honestly, with Smash Bros, again, two socks at, at to his name. You're right at 116, you have a little oh, bit of rage with Lucas, and then you get kind of combo just like that. I mean, it, it was.